Hey guys, Bing here. Um, today I'm going to show you a very quick, quick one. So how to break up um, wall sweeps. So here, here I have a project. So let's model some wall. Um, I'll just model some brick manure and uh, some stud wall. Like this, okay. So just, just the size. Okay. So now I'll also place some door in in in, in this, just roughly. Okay. So and uh, something like this. Okay. So now the three view. Uh, I'll change all the door. Uh, sorry, all the wall wall height to um, maybe three meter high. Okay, so now wall sweep. Uh, I'm going to use the wall sweep here. Okay, so this one wall sweep. Um, and before that, uh, let, let's have a look. Okay, so this is the default uh, wall sweep. Uh, to create a new one, you will need to create a family uh, and uh, will be a profile. Okay, profile open. And also, you can uh, go to family type. You can give it a category. So uh, here, profile usage. So if you don't change this, it will be used for any um, family. So, uh, but you can change this. So they will only show um, in the list under that uh, category. Okay. So if I choose this wall sweep, so this profile will be only. Uh, can can only be used on um, uh, for wall sweep. So now, uh, let me how uh, which side? Which is, let me just guess. Uh, maybe so. For example, I'm just going to model a 10, 10, uh, 100 mil high, maybe um, 10 mil thick. So I'm actually not quite sure which side I should. Draw this, so I'll just draw this here, and I'll load this into the project. And let's go to 3D view. And usually, when you place wall sweep, you go into 3D view. Okay, so wall sweep, and I'll just edit type, duplicate. I'll create a new, new sweep. And uh, uh, profile here, so. So this is the new one we just created, and you can you can change the material, and uh, yeah, that's all good. Just leave leave it, and let's have a look. Yeah, looks like it's on the wrong side. So if if you if you look, I'll just do a section box so you can see it's in the wall. See, so which means we need to go to family. Uh, on the profile family and edit. So I'll just mm mirror, uncheck the copy, mirror it, and load back into the project. So now this wall sweep is on the correct on the face of the wall. Okay, so um, now let's do it. Uh, so I just place one, so I'll just turn off the section box. So here, so you was you can see that uh, I place one wall sweep on here, but it will go from this end to this end. This is because we have this wall start from here to here, and also because of all the door, this creates an issue. So. Um, Hang on, let me think. So if so, for example, I'll just create another one here. Okay. So and uh, if I I'll just type in zero, it will go on the ground of floor level. And see, this is a uh, just one sweep. And if you want to, you can drag this to maybe stop here. And it maybe you can place another one. And then drag this to match this wall. Drag this to match this wall, and make it zero. So you will have two, uh, one for each room. But this is very 
uh, time consuming and every and also sometimes I'll just try see when you move the wall move this wall you need to manually adjust this this is very I uh, I don't like this so and hang on oh, so now I'm going to show you this one this one is most you know I hate this and it's it's just not possible to uh, fix it so for example I try to if I it's okay if I on this end I can drag this okay but on this end I don't know how I can just so this one you can drag this to here but I don't know how to get rid of this part you can probably make hide hide it here in the wall but you can't you just can't get rid of it okay so I don't like this I hate this so what I will do to break the uh, sweep uh, so there will be like uh, one sweep for each room instead of break the sweep you break the wall okay so for example here I'll just use SL so it's on the modify here SL split element so what I will do is I'll just split all the walls so for example I'll just split wall and I'll use TR trim TR trim and it, they will look exactly the same see they will automatically join okay so sometimes you might have some issue with the pattern but uh, you can you can still fix it by just manually align the pattern okay so so see now I break the wall so each room will so you know have that one more for that room so here so I'll just break it again so for example here break break and break here break here so then trim 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 trim, trim. okay so here same break 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 trim 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 so now all the wall so see all the wall so it's now all um bro not broken but yeah all separate wall for uh, each room okay so now we what we can do is we can go create a sweep and so I'll just place one here so you might this is it's okay don't worry about this because this this sweep will follow this wall length you don't you can just um, add wall and add this wall and also this one don't try to drag the sweep don't do that okay instead do this wall joins so and then click on this join and next okay so that's it and also um, uh, how to get rid of that wall maybe do this okay so remove that wall remove this so create this one okay and instead of add remove wall just create similar create another one CS and and then you will be able to join them okay and also um, for see uh, this one line that's that's fine you can just use the this tool this tool is very good so it's just wall, wall joins so it's, even when you see something like this you just need to and also it's good to go to floor plan and 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 when you use this wall join so you would see so see here so if you use the wall join it, you can tell the difference okay maybe I need this maybe um, let's have a look of some so maybe here so use wall, sorry this one more join and then you can select the the 
the correct one. Maybe uh, maybe this one. Okay. So let's go back to 3D view. So let's continue the wall sweep. So for example, if I want to create wall sweep in this room, so now I can just create wall sweep. And sometimes it's a little bit harder to pick the floor. You can just pick on here, escape, select it, type in zero. Okay. And also some people might say, oh, we can do this at wall at one, two, three. So it will create See this? Oh, actually, this one go to the other side. Um, maybe let's get rid of this. And where? Where's my? Yeah. Oh, and it looks like when you see when you pick the wall, you need to pick the the correct side. So I'll get rid of this instead. Of pick that side. Oh, sorry. I did I click too fast. So. At wall, so you need to pick this face, so it will place on this side. So here, pick this side, and this will create a, a sweep or continue so full side. But I um, I do not recommend this. I do not recommend this, this because sometimes when you go um, like doing some work in the elevation. And you don't know how. Um, probably you don't need that sweep in that elevation, and then you maybe you think, oh, I don't need that. I'll delete it, and then you delete all the rest. And this, especially when you sometimes when you create more, like or across, because it's easier to place because uh, they they will be uh, at the same level. It's so sometimes. So people will do this. Okay, so sometimes you will do all the whole house, just create one, and then um, at some stage you probably delete it, and then it's all gone. And also when sometimes when you need to tag them, and after you tag, if you remove remove or add part of the sweep, all the tag will will uh, uh, change the location, will move the tag as well. So you you, you will find yourself or um, need, you need to adjust the tag all the time. So I recommend don't do this. So instead of this, just do wall sweep. Just spend a little bit more time. And you can either use restart wall sweep, so which means create a new one. And restart wall sweep. So, yeah, spend a little bit time, and then later when you need to do some uh, elevation, do all the adjustment, do all the tag. So, we'll uh, reduce the you know chance to mess up uh, other views. Okay, so let me think. Yeah, so let's do another. So see this one, I'll delete this one. Let's redo this part. Okay, so so wall sweep. Previously we create a whole length, and then it's very it's 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 impossible to break them up. So this one you can just create one and restart. Create one and restart, and create one and restart. And you will see most of the time it will automatically uh, join and create one and restart and create one and escape. So yeah, this don't don't drag your wall sweep. Don't drag your wall sweep. Just do this. Okay, see. And same, let's do this side. Wall sweep one, restart one, restart one, restart one, restart one, escape. So here, same, just use the wall join next. Okay, so 
nice and clean. So here, so see, uh, we probably need to use wall join to, yeah. So here as well. So yeah. So when you use the um, split and trying to trim, so this will happen. But uh, if you, yeah, just yeah here. See, try yeah try and understand what's happening and how to fix it. Okay. So let's do a uh, last one. Wall sweep. So let you can you can you can place it on the wall anywhere and uh, escape. Select it. Change it to uh, zero. CS and place it. And restart. Okay. So. That's it, and also you will see, yeah, very nice, clean, uh, yeah. Mm. Not here. Oh, doesn't matter. Anyway, so that's it. Um, if you have any question, let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.